Hey there guys, what's going on? I'm Arrow with Rimini from Yu-Gi-Oh! Masters and today we're taking a look at the first place deck list from YCS Rimini. It is Necroz and Perform Age a little bit in it, but mostly Necroz. So we're going to have a take a look at this and it's got some really interesting uh, choices in terms of deck. So we're going to have a quick look through and then I'll uh, talk about it. Specifically, we've got one Exa, a lot of people don't use that, uh, one Great Sorcerer, three uh, Manju, three uh, Damage Juggler, and two Hat Tricker. That's the uh, the Clown Engine, with no Clown Blade part, which is actually really interesting. Uh, I've got three Senju, one Shirt, of course, two Brionic, two Klauselus, uh, Decisive Armor, one Gungnir, one Trishula, three of the Unicorn, and three of the Valkyries. Then you've got two of each Mirror, that's a Necroz Cycle, uh, Necroz uh, Kaleidoscope, uh, two mirror. Um, I call them mirrors, they're ritual spells. Um, then we have Preparation of Rites, which is OP. Two reinforcing the army, even though we only have three uh, warriors, three upstart goblins, and uh, the only trap, which is emptiness. We'll go through the side deck really quickly as well. So we've got Dance Princess and Necros. It's basically a Denka Seca for them, almost. Uh, three deck lockdown, we'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, three MST, one Regeki, uh, Breakthrough Skill. 3 Decree and 3 Typhoon, which is a really interesting choice, and we'll talk about that in a little while. We'll go through the deck first. Uh, Herald of Arc Light times 2, just for the Unicorn plays. Uh, Shooting Quasar and Star Eater for the Kaleidoscope plays. And then we just got Rank 4s, we've got Dweller, we've got. Uh, I can never say the names. Care Gorgon, right? Um, it's really good, that card. Uh, 2 Emerald, 1 Dire Wolf. Uh, I think it's 2. Is it 2 Exoton? Uh, I could be wrong here. There could be a slight change in the deck list that I've accidentally messed up on. But it's, at the very most, a generic level 4. So that's all you need to know. One Cowboy. Uh, one number 104. I really like this card. And we'll talk about it in a second, just like we're going to talk about everything. Uh, number 80, obviously, in Berserk and Trapeze Magician. So, there's a lot to talk about in this deck, so we'll hopefully be able to pile through it. First thing you look when you see this deck is... Uh, it's got the Performages in it, it's got uh, two Hat Tricker and three Damage Juggler. And the one thing you think, well, the one thing I think is, where's um, the one that takes Thousand Special from the Grave? The guy who did this deck thought the life point uh, taking was far too much. The 1,000 uh, life damage was too much. I'm not sure if I agree with him, um, but then again, I didn't win a YCS, so... <laughs> Um, he also won a Minerva uh, Ultra Rare, which is amazing. I think I, I would pay a lot of money for one of those. I got a giant hand the other day, but that's about it. Um, so yeah, he runs the uh, Damage Juggler, so he can just drop it and then get a Hat Tricker, who is great for the rank 4 plays. Because um, the one thing that Necros has is it's got big monsters, it's got the big things. But a lot of people, when they're playing against it, don't realize how easy it is to make uh, the rank 4s. And the, the answer to that is very easy. In fact, I've run 2 extra Knight in this, because you wipe the field. You basically win. So, um, we're also going to look at Exa and uh, Great Sorcerer. P people use Great Sorcerer quite a lot. I've seen him quite a lot, but Exa is a bit strange because um, he's the one who special summons, um, I think. Let's have a look. This card is tribute by a card effect. I've won Richard. Uh, yeah, you can special one of your banished Necros monsters. And I'm fairly sure you can't do that to the Rituals. Um, because they can't be special summoned by any other way. So the only one you can actually special summon is Great Sorcerer or Shurit. And Shurit is a great one to get back from the out of play. But I think a lot of this card is, um, if you tribute it, you get a dragon. And that's, um, I'm fairly sure, yeah, Decisive Armor is a dragon. I think he's the only dragon, actually, thinking about it. Um, and, um, of course, he's a, he's a five. So a lot of the time you'll want five and a four to... Uh, Five and a four to make Trishula, or five and a three. Uh, where's the three? Uh, classless three, isn't he? To make uh, eight, so it gives you other plays with your Necros Mirror. So that's also another reason why uh, people run it, and I like that. So we got those two, which are interesting. Uh, not so interesting is the three Manju, three Senju, normal. Uh, the Damage Juggler and the Hat Tricker we talked about, but um, yeah, it's just to get the rank fours out, and I think it's a really good engine. I'd really love him to play three hat tricker, but I guess there's not enough room. Uh, two Brionic is pretty standard. Two Classless is pretty standard as well. Decisive so Armor. Going there and Trishilla, you know, your usual hand traps and big boss monsters. Uh, three Unicorn, very normal. Uh, three Valkyrus, I was pretty shocked at because a lot of people have been dropping it to two, but I can definitely see why you run three. There's, there's two of each mirror, which is normal. Preparation of Rights, normal. 
two rotor with only three targets um, shows just how important getting classless into the grave and getting yourself a ritual spell is. And also Shirit is like the most broken card in this deck. I can't believe you used to be able to use three. Um, three upside goblin for, you know, consistency. Consistency is good. And Van Simpson is just a broken card. Uh, I'm going to move on to the side uh, in more detail. Dance is basically Denkseka. If you play this, if you summon this, they got no response, and then you ritual spell. You're basically going to win. Um, plus, you've got the second effect when it's tributed by card effect. You can put a banished Necro, um, Necro's monster back to your hand. Uh, back to, is it back to your hand? Yeah, it's back to your hand, of course. Um, and if you can do that with Shura after you've used Mirror, that's so, like, winning games. It's unreal. Uh, you've three deck lockdown. This card, oh my god. Uh, it's got the first effect, which is um, basically a Mystic and Arrest. And Mistake, of course. Uh, but the thing about it is, firstly, Decree doesn't touch it. And secondly, it stops people from getting stuff from their main deck. Which, um, I'm trying to think right now, uh, what is that is good against. Um, Burning Abyss, of course, is very good. Um, this deck, Lockdown, um, I haven't seen it recently. I remember back in the day, maybe 2007 it was, when people were running this against Gladiator Beast. And also, I've just realised this would be quite good against Ritual Beast, right? Because they're basically Gladiator Beast. I'm not sure, guys. Uh, all I know is this is a mistake with a second effect, which isn't too bad. It definitely beats uh, Benny Miss. That's great. Uh, we got th and please, I'm... My brain isn't working too well right now, so if I miss something out and if Ritual Beast don't special turn from the deck, I don't know Ritual Beast, leave me alone. I mean, Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Bide, I don't play Ritual Beast, leave me alone. <laughs> yeah, um, if I've missed something out on this, please tell me, because I think it's mostly against Burning Abyss. Seems good against Burning Abyss, stops Scam, stops Graph, it's, it's a good one. Uh, 3MST, uh, if I have to explain this one to you, you should be shot. Um, Regeki, pretty much the same. Breakthrough Skill, um, I think this is just his one of the wanted in his deck. I like Breakthrough Skill. It's amazing against uh, Dweller, which actually kind of wrecks his deck a little bit. Um, sometimes people play Dweller and you've got Breakthrough Skill in the grave and it'll just make it so you can't use this effect. Three Decree, because Decree is OP in a deck with one trap. Uh, and I'd take this trap out for the Decrees. And then Typhoon. This one I'm actually really interested in. Um, so Typhoon is Tiger One Face Up, Spill a Trap Card in the Field, Destroy It. Okay, that's a bit shit. Uh, but if your opponent controls two or more spell trap cards, you control none, you can activate this card from your hand. This is amazing against the uh, Cliff Wall matchup. If your opponent plays one, two into the Pendulum Zones, play Typhoon out your hand. You, they can go first and you can do that. That stops them completely. Unless they have a Wavering Eyes in hand, you win that game. Because Cliff Wall will open five cards. They will, they will open five cards and you take them down to four. There's no way to make the plays. Unless they open Wavering Eyes and Scout or just an insane hand. This is just like the massive counter to it. I am really happy to see this card in here. Um, now the extra deck's pretty normal for the synchros. Kaleidoscope fodder to Arclight, the uh, Star Eater and Shooting Star. Oh, uh, Shooting Quasar, sorry. Um, Dweller, Kegora, you know, just normal. He's, he's running two Emerald, that's, that's an interesting one. Fairly sure he's not running X tonight, but if he is, I'm good with this. Um, but the rest is just generic level force. And then we have Masquerade, let's have a look at this. During either plays Battle Face, when the opponent Monster effect is activated. You can detach one XYZ material from this card, negate the activation if you do, inflict 800 damage to your opponent. Now, um, this stops the Cosmo matchups honest, which is massive. The amount of times they will leave some, uh, you know, something in attack mode and you'll attack it and they go honest. This stops honest, which is great. I think during either place battle phase, when an opponent's monster effect is activated, you can attach one XYZ material, negate the activation. Yes, it, it negates the activation. That's cool. Um, does it have to negate and destroy? No, I'm sure it just has to negate. Um, either way, if it doesn't stop honest, tell me. Um, but it stops a lot of other things as well. Like anything when it's destroyed by battle. This, this gets over... Um, uh, Burning Abyss pretty hard as well. Then we have Rhapsody, which is normal, and Trapeze Magician. A lot of people haven't seen this yet, so let's have a look. You never take damage uh, if the amount is less than or equal to this card's attack, so you won't take damage unless it's 2,500 or more. Um, once per turn, during either player's main phase, you can detach one x Z material from this card and take one face protection position monster. The turn player controls, so if it's my turn, wait, um, pop it onto mine, and you can't do it on itself. Um, it can attack twice and then dies. 
which um, which is good. And then if Strobe of Battle sent to the graveyard, uh, or destroyed by card effect, you can switch to one performance from the deck. So you get another one of these. So it's actually really insane. And all it costs two level four spellcasters. And I think, yeah, Necros Unicorn is a spellcaster as well. So some that, especially showing your hat tricker, go into this guy. And um, not only can you do that, if your opponent got something small, uh, you can make them attack twice and then it dies, which is also amazing. So that's uh, that's the deck list, guys. If you enjoyed this, make sure to rate, comment, subscribe, all that good jazz. Make sure to click on all the other videos. There is quite a few nice little ones on this channel. There's ones with my good friend Aaron, who is a completely different standard of Yu-Gi-Oh! Master. He was number one in the country in the mid-2000s, and he's getting back into the game. So he knows the game, but he doesn't know the game. Whereas I'm a bit more current with the game, and, you know, I got, I got to number one in the rankings online, which wasn't bad. So, um, yeah, go check him out. Check my other videos out. Check out our uh, real-life tournament uh, uh, deck uh, duels. It's called a duel. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.